This video demonstrates how to use an integration between BMC Discovery and BMC SecOps Response Service. BMC Discovery automatically collects information about servers throughout your data center. SecOps Response can combine that discovery data with vulnerability scan information to identify security blind spots, that is, servers that may need to be included in vulnerability scans. You can also use discovery information to filter vulnerabilities by types of software used throughout your data center. This video assumes you are logged into BMC SecOps Response and you are connected to BMC Blade Logic Server Automation. It also assumes you have used the onboarding process to set up a connector for BMC Discovery. First, select SecOps Response Operator Dashboard. The Unscan feature only appears when you are integrated with BMC Discovery. It shows how many servers were detected using BMC Discovery that are not included in the scan file information currently displayed. If you are monitoring the security of your server environment, unscanned servers are blind spots and potential security risks. You can export a list of unscanned servers by clicking Export. Click Yes. Here is the file that is exported. It's a zip file. I can extract the contents of the file. It contains two CSV files. If I open Unscan Asset Export in a spreadsheet like Excel, I see a list of the unscanned servers. Notice there are 16 unscanned servers in the list just as it said on the operator dashboard. At this point, you can review the contents of the unscanned asset list and determine if those servers are, in fact, security risks. If any are, you can arrange to include them in the vulnerability scans you are performing on your server environment. Now we're going to filter information based on vulnerabilities associated with a particular software application. We'll use the software instance filter which is only available if you have onboarded BMC Discovery. First, notice how many unique servers have vulnerabilities and how many unique vulnerabilities are present. In this example, we see 35 unique assets with 865 unique vulnerabilities. Now I'm going to filter out everything except vulnerabilities related to Red Hat KVM. I select the software instance filter, and I select the software instance that I want to filter for, and click Apply Filters. Now you can see there are three unique assets with 13 unique vulnerabilities. At this point, I can use the list of actionable vulnerabilities to launch remediation actions on those three servers. To do so, I click Remediate which launches a wizard that lets you define operations to correct the actionable vulnerabilities. Using the remediation operation wizard is described in a separate video. Thanks for watching.